Hi guys, it's me and Justice Mom. I hope you're having a great day today because I am um I'm just doing a little get ready with me, I guess. Gotta go back up to my mom's yesterday. My son when I was up there visiting for the holiday for Thanksgiving. My mom, she loves to collect things. So my son always has these um paraphernalia souvenirs from his job. And um this is a cleanser, the cleanser I was telling you guys about anyway. So and it has his uh job name on it. She already has one, but she wants another one. She seen one somebody else had. I think my niece or somebody had. She always wants everything. And Lord, I forgot to take it. I had it in there yesterday to take, but then I took it out the box, forgot. So you got to take it today. She told you that if she doesn't, she's in a nursing facility. If she doesn't have a cup, they won't give her anything to drink, just a bottle of water, which we all know that's not true because my mom has several cups. And they have paper cups and glasses at the nursing home for them to drink out of. But my mom being who she is, she's spoiled. So like my son said, whatever she wants, take it to her. She's in a nursing home and it's already depressing and then she can't see her family. So... I gotta take out that cup, <laughs> honey. And we all know that everybody knows my mom at the nursing home. We know the nursing CNAs. I got two of them personal number, so I can. She needs something, or if I want to find out something, what's really going on? Just ask. But I'm gonna take her a cup just because she wants it. Y'all, guess what? I have 113 subscribers. Man, I was so happy this morning because I was already um, had woke up kind of down. Um, I do that often, but you know, like I said, you have to turn yourself around. You have to turn it around. You have to turn that. When you go in that dark place, you got to find a way to come out there. I had to turn my music on. Tasha Papa had to thank God, honey, praise him. And then I went on the YouTube and I went on my channel and I think it's up to like 120 something now. Won't he do it? And like I said, I was just doing the videos. First, I started out with two subscribers, then 20-something. And uh, I said I was just going to keep on. I was looking at different tips, keep on pushing videos, pushing videos until, you know, just to try it out. You know, see where it goes. Because you never know. You you won't know until you try. That's the thing. Yes, I want to thank everyone. Lord, I want to thank you guys. I really, really appreciate you coming to my channel, taking the time and watching me. But like I said, honey, sometimes I be going through it. And I know you guys too, because everybody's going through something. I can't mope about my problems all the time because I know you guys are too. So that's why we got to help each other. We got to help uplift. We got to put positive stuff out there, positive thing that's going to help people. You know, Lord, I am so thankful. I, I, I said I wanted to uh, get 500 by my birthday in March. And I was like, you know, I'll be five and a hundred. Hey, I got a hundred. So anything is possible. You know, I was just saying, put the numbers out there. That's why I say, y'all, Lord, I don't know what this thing is going to take me. But I'm just going to, like I said, keep on trying to ask, you know. I don't know what, you know, God has in my plan. I just got to listen and follow and just try to keep inspirating, you know, being an inspiration, a positive inspiration. That's why I had started working in the community. And we got to help each other and study down in each other. You know, I was on a live last night with Zogi the Gemini. Her and um, I think it's Nurse and the Nerd. And I forgot the other lady name. Begin with a B. Anyway, I don't know. She must, somebody must have made a statement. I think she said something about um, black people in our community. They praise people for when they get home, a touchdown party. But don't give money to go to college. I didn't get into that part, but she was they were saying that she said that my family don't go to jail. That's the part that I was gonna touch on. Wasn't enough characters to type in the comment. And um the live was over. So I didn't get to get in on the live live. But um she was saying my family don't go to jail. And I think the girl was telling that she might offend some people, you know, made in the comments by saying stuff like that. And it's sometimes not what you say, it's how you say it. And also, you can never say never because I would have never thought that my sons would have went to jail. 
and I had three sons, and all three have been arrested. Even my good son, they, you know, they used to say the good son. The reason why I say that because he was uh, my son. He matured quick, and um, because I used to work long hours, so he had to be like the man of the house. Had to make sure his brothers did the homework, baths, and all that. Because I had to work hard, you know, to take it. I was a single mom, so he matured early. So he was always focused on, you know, mature things, goals in life, what he wanted to do, you know, he, when he was older. So he always tried to stay on the straight and narrow. Well, other two weren't bad. They just wasn't interested in school. And they liked to play outside sports and all that type of stuff. But yeah, they didn't mature as fast as he did. But um, anywho, like I say, I never would have thought that my sons would have got arrested. You know, I raised them in a pretty good household, a structured home, you know. But, you know, in sometimes it doesn't matter how you raise your kids, you raise right. If they get out there in the streets, the streets get them, they still can do, you know, go left. But our job is to steer them back right. Yes, like I said, they've been arrested, but that didn't make them any less of, you know, who they are. Your past makes you who you are, and they, they are doing pretty good. They were younger, of course, when they, you know, had their arrest. My older son, he's assistant manager for a corporate office at his, you know, company. He's doing real good, just got married. He's doing good for himself. My middle son, he just started the family business, which my baby boy that was killed, Justin, wanted to start. So my son, he got his CEOs and he started the business. So he's doing good as well. And like I said, all three of them been arrested. So, you know, I couldn't say, well, my my family don't get arrested, but I would, you never say never, because I never would have thought that my sons would have got gotten arrested. Also, I never would have thought, imagined that my son would get killed by a stray bullet. So sometimes you just can't be say things. You got to be careful of what you say. And I know that the, the young lady, she, I know she didn't maybe mean, you know, she probably didn't mean anything by it when she said it. My family don't go to jail, but it's maybe the way she said it. You know, sometimes you got to see. Because you never know what a person going through, like people, like we might think it's, it's not a good idea. You know, they go and spend the money on Jordans and, you know, they don't have a house or, you know, you know, need to spend the money on something more important. But to them, you know, they think they're doing the right thing. You don't know how some people are. They go by the environment they was raised in, the way they was raised in. That's all they know. I learned that myself. When I start working in the community, I don't judge people because I see some of them kids. And they do things from, that's, that's, that's the environment they're around. That's what they know. So, of course, they, you know, go out and men, men get do things. So, you can't always judge somebody because you don't know their story. You really don't. So that's why it's our job, you know, to help them. We need, you know, need more guidance. That's, that's all it is. A lot of times we need more guidance, encouragement. Because a lot of these kids don't believe in themselves. My head son, my middle son didn't believe in his, himself. When my baby boy died, oh, he took a turn for the worse. He was mad at everybody. He was mad at me because I wasn't, you know, I guess, you know, emotional about it. Yeah, I was, I was emotional but i still had to go on you know i took a leave from work but you know i was still you know living life not saying i was going there with reckless part or whatever but i was just you know i couldn't mourn i couldn't go in that dark place like he was always sad he was always down you know that's fine and then you think about the memories but your brother would not want you doing that because best believe if it was you that got you know he would have been, you know, living his life still, not just saying he, nobody forgets about him. I would never, ever forget about my son. That's why I started this page to keep his name alive. I keep his pictures all around. I tell his son about him. I definitely talk about him. Keep his memories alive. But you just can't, you got to find ways to come out that dark place, y'all. Because I'm telling you, that dark place is not a good place to go. You know, if you need counseling, go to counseling. I tried it out, you know, went to a couple of sessions. Um, you, you do what you have to do. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. If you need that extra help, please go get it. But also, you know, if you don't have a personal relationship with God, with God or if you have one and it's not that strong, I suggest that you build it. Because he really, that really, really helps me, guys. 
their personal relationship because like I said, I had to talk to him like he's a person. So like I said, I don't think the young lady really meant anything by it, but sometimes, sometimes we say things and it comes off as if we think we're better than a person. That's why I tell my son, my older son, sometimes he used to act that way. Never forget where you, where you came from, baby, because it made you who you are today. You can't forget about your past. You can't look down on people because, honey, whatever God gives you, he can surely take it back. You know, he's more humble now, especially since my son died, my baby boy died. Because if I see my son is doing something wrong, I'm not going to condone it. I'm not going to know. And, and, you know, that's why I say treat your woman, your wife, whoever, treat them with respect. Like I used to tell my middle son, him and his his fiance, might as well say, they used to fight all the time, you know, break up, get back together. I'm talking about they used to just really act like they hate each other. Look, I had to sit down. When they start having kids, they had my grandson. It's no longer about you, honey. It's about my grandson because I tell you one thing. If he ever get hurt or anything happen or he get messed up, mm -mm, mess somebody up. Because a child can feel that negative energy, y'all. You know, I believe what it's in. It, it, it jumps off. It jumps off. Of one person to another. You feed your soul with all negative stuff. You're going to be a what? A negative person. So you got to surround yourself around negative, I mean, positive things, positive people. You got to think positive thoughts. You know, I, I'm not perfect. I'm. Damn sure it ain't perfect, all oh, I'm not. You know, we all judge, we all think things, but everybody think different. You might be thinking something, but don't don't comment, don't say nothing to the person because you don't know what kind of day they're having, especially if something mean. Everybody has differences. A lot of times I've been on social media and I was, you know, getting my feelings and I started typing, but then as I was typing, I think about it, what I'm saying. And I delete it. Especially if it's going to cause drama. I'm not into that. Just like, well, like I said, when I did the CNN interview with my son died, y'all yeah, went on there to tell the world about my son. Because the first thing when a, a young black male especially gets killed, what they think, he's got, he's a bad person. He got a racket. They ready to pull that racket up. Like my, I said, my son, so has been arrested. But... My son passed. They can put him on. The only thing he had was a misdemeanor for weed when he was 16. So, well, he got arrested to another time. He was riding with a, some friends and a gun was in the car. It was, and it was under the seat that passenger side he was on. But they threw that out of court. They didn't even make it. But the other one was just a misdemeanor. So, they couldn't pull nothing up, honey. And I went on to tell the world that my son, who he was, and he got shot by a straight bullet. That guy didn't know him. He didn't know that guy. He told one person, one his friend that testified he was shooting at the police. He wanted to shoot the police that day. And my son was standing at the police line where the police was standing at. And then he said he shot in the air to disperse the crowd. Bullets have no eyes. So like I said, never what I have thought that my son would get killed, that I would be burying one of my children before I leave. So y'all, I told y'all, be kind, be kind. You got to spread love, don't spread no hate. You're feeling some type of way, stay to yourself. If you feeling some type of get up with a bad mood, you need to be by yourself for that day until you get to the place where you that anger gone or whatever was bothering you. Talk to God about it. Talk to some friends about it. Look at some positive stuff, read some positive quotes. Look at something that's going to turn that negative spirit around. That stuff will make you sick to all that negative pain. When you go to the dark place and you be thinking all them negative thoughts and you just, you know, going to like a depression, you having all these bad thoughts and, you know, you can't get yourself together. 
You're going to have to call on somebody. Because you'll drown. It didn't have to drain. It make your blood pressure go up. Make you get sick. Sometimes it makes you eat. All kind of bad stuff. All that affects your health. Y'all yeah, just doing makeup. I don't really know how to do it that good. But I try. I need to get some brown liner to do my brows. Because that black, I don't like it. Yeah, guys, like I said, I'm just ranting. But I want to bring positivity. Love, love, love to the love crew. I thank you. I thank my love crew. And that's you guys. If you like what you see, then subscribe to me. This is Ann Justice Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to put a trial on this wig, too. Well, I'm at, I've been had it for a while. Order from Glamatures.com. I'm looking for my lip mask. Lip scrub, I mean. Because these lips, honey. Yeah. Getting dry, especially in the winter. And then that mask. Y'all, my cousin bought me these gummies. I got to show them to y'all. I want to show them to y'all another day, but I seen them on Facebook. Some apple cider benefits for the wife to screw about. It's by Mary Kay. Mm. It's got a really nice flavor to it, too. I need to get it on duty. Satin lips. It's a sugar scrub. A Shea sugar scrub. It's just real good. It's been down in my pocketbook, so it's kind of in my makeup. And here's the lip balm you put on afterwards. Can you see it? Yeah, y'all, we got to spray them on a little. Look, I ain't, I know, y'all, y'all know I ain't got no edges. I told y'all before, my hair is coming out from medications, stress, and I think old age, anyway. Yeah. So don't y'all be going around talking. I don't care. Because like I said, nothing can, can hurt me worse than losing my son. So you can talk, you can say whatever you want to mean. Just keep that negative stuff off the love boat because I ain't for it. I'm trying to bring positive thoughts. Okay. This is it. It's called Self. Let Letty LFW side part. The color is RT42730. And it's by Selfie Star. Mm -hmm. I got another one too that I ordered. Can't wait that I'll review that another day. That one is long, kind of. I had cut the lace and water. I wore this before. And it's got an old, it's the kinky hair. It's the kinky curly twist. Here's the cap construction. It's kind of large, but yeah. Like I said, I worn it before. The curl's kind of falling out now. Mm hmm. I don't really glue my wigs down. Rarely. I've done it before and I, you know, may still do it from time to time, but try not to because of my edges. So I just try to put bobby pins in them and keep them moving. Put it to the side a little bit. Sound like the way they hump is right there. 
that hump. Do your dance, do the hump, do the hump, do the hump. Y'all remember that? This is whack right here. This, I need hairpin or something, sister, sister girl. Cause this gonna, you know, this gonna aggravate her. Y'all, yeah, please help me spread love around the rural, around YouTube. You know, it's okay to talk about stuff. Have, you know, discussions, but don't be mean about it. You never know what that person been through, what their life is like. So, can't be too judgmental. I mean, we all do. We all do. I do too sometimes. You know, like I said, I'm working on everybody work in progress. We just got to do a better job. I'm not on here to say I'm better than, than anybody. That I don't do this, don't do that. We just all need to help try to get it together. Help each other. Well, you weak, I'm strong. Well, I'm weak, you strong. Put all that together, we got some hell of a power. Yep. Yeah, what y'all think? Is it cute? Do you like it? Or do you love it? This right here look like a diamond browse this hump. This is, is something about this. I gotta try to liven up this part. Anyway, again, y'all, I'm up to a hundred. I think it was 23 subscribers. I am so excited because I started out with two. And I seen what everybody was saying, you gotta work, work, work. You know, I'm looking at people to shout me out, getting mad. No, boo. It's work. It's work. That's what you got to do. You got to work. Because just like they did, everybody working hard to try to make it. So that's what I figured out. That's what you got to do. You feel me? What you guys think? Do you think it's cute? Anyway, I'll be back with you. This is Ann, Justin's mom. Please like, subscribe, and share. Coming at you with this cutie. Talk to you later. I got to get this cup up there to mom before she call with that <laughs> rock rock. <laughs> trying to, what y'all say? Trying to straighten me out. All right, talk to you later. Hi guys, I'm back. It's me and Justin's mom. Yes, I went and dropped my mom's cup off. And I also stopped by one of my friends' house. They got me a bottle of wine. Stopped and got that. Um, Don't you just love my heart earrings? Anyway, yeah. Wanted to dress up a little bit because during this cold, we haven't been going anywhere. Working from home. So when I go out, it sometimes I like to look cute. Even though I'm not going far, still want to look cute. Like I was saying, and always, guys, we got to continue to spread love and joy, especially during this time. I was talking about earlier the live that was on Zoga the Gemini's um, live last night. They were talking about um, a statement somebody made about their family uh, don't go to jail. It was a pretty good topic. And what I liked about it, it was a discussion where everybody was giving their own opinions and telling how they feel in their different backgrounds, but it wasn't any, like, drama, any beef between, you know, the people talking, you know, and it's good to understand how other people live, how other people was raised, because like I said, a lot of these people, that's why I started working in the community, because sometimes I used to look, you know, on how some of us act, some people act. It's not up to me to judge them or figure out why they act the way they do, you know, but I st stopped working with the kids, and, some, and I saw that sometimes that's all they know you know that's all that's around them is is you know negative a lot of negative things so you can't just judge people what it what we need to do more of is helping if you see somebody you know that needs help that's why i like to say working with the youth needs help it don't always mean a dollar you can give somebody encouraging words i mean you can just um i'll say before COVID a hug but yeah just speaking to them and saying kind of, kind of words, speaking positivity, making them believe in themselves. A lot of these kids, like I said, do not believe in themselves. So 
it's good to build up, you know, and give them hope and see real life things and, and real life everyday people that come from the same background as them can still can succeed. That's why I want my son to get out with me in the community when um once he get his business, you know, he just started so he's, you know, super busy and you know, during the COVID. But when we start by working in the community a little bit, for him to go out and give his story, because he has a felony for something he did when he was seventeen. It was hard to get him a job. But hey, he he doing it. You know, he went and got a CDS. He used to work for a trucking company. They gave him a chance. So, you know, you can't give up. So that's what we need to do. We need to help each other. Again, this is Ann Justin's mom. If you like what you see, then subscribe to me. This is Ann Justin's mom. Please like, subscribe, and share. And most of all, love, love, love. Oh, yeah, comment too. And also, tell me you got, what you guys would like to see me do more of. If you want to, please, I need to know what you would like to see more of, what kind of content. So I can bring you more love, 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 positivity, and inspiration. Have a great night.